This is Code.org, and let's see what we have here. An e-commerce website has lists of sales for multiple days. The marketing team wants to determine the popularity of products to plan promotions and advertisement and needs to create one list that contains only the unique products and total quantity sold for each. Write the method combine weeks to create and return a new array list that contains the products in the first week's list followed by the products in the second week's list. All right, let's see what we have. Ah, okay, write method combine sales to find duplicate products and combine their total quantities sold. Does not, okay. So I wanna be able to test this. So for starters, I'm gonna declare an array list in here. I'm going to call mine combo. And then I'm just going to return an empty one down here so I can test this method, uh, the functionality of this. Awesome. So right now, this is the output. Okay. And we are just combining those two. All right, so we want to copy our list over. So da, 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 da. pretty straightforward here. And since it's an array list of product, yeah, we'll do int, I guess. And remember it's size for array list. And then I'm just gonna do combo is gonna be uh dot add first week get i and now i need to do the second one I'm just going to copy this and we can use i again since it's contained let's give this a shot and that's looking good let me go ahead and start printing some of this out though to make sure it's actually going to work because we should be testing early and often all right so combine weeks combo is going to be equal to Marketing dot combine weeks, and then we need to pass in the array list that we're going to combine. First and second week. And then I want to go ahead and print these out to make sure we're on the right track. Both weeks. I'm not both week sales. Sure. Oh, dang it. I want to print a combo. That's looking good. I'll call it combined. Okay, that's great. And now what do we need to do? Uh, well, we actually need to combine the sales. So for this part of it, it's asking us to combine products that are the same. So this is gonna be similar to our sorting arrays. We're gonna need a nested loop. I know that for sure. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna do next and index. So for next though, we're not gonna set it equal to zero, of course, we would have it equal to index uh, plus one. All right. And so like always guys, there's a lot of ways to be correct with code. I've been going back and forth on how I wanna do this. <laughs> so that will be our current product. And this is going to be our next next product. Uh, yes. Okay. And so what we need to know is if these share the same name. Because if they share the same name, then we need to combine their data values. So if current dot because the combined is just their names. So if our current product has the same uh, name as our next, and keep in mind guys, equals works not because it's comparing a string. Did I just say that? Equals isn't working because it's comparing a string. Equals is right here. And so this is allowing us to compare products directly. All it actually does is compare the string to be clear. It's comparing, yes, the names. And so that's what's letting us do that. 
So if they do have the same name, we want to combine the product's quantity. And so set quantity and where's get get quantity. So and what's it going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to current get quantity, the quantity of my current item plus next product dot get plus the quantity of the other product because we're combining these. And so the other thing we're going to need to do is remove items. Removing it inside, there's two methods. We could add the index to a list and remove it after, or we could do it right now. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. So I want to do find.remove. And then what do we want to remove? We're going to go ahead and remove next. And then next minus minus, I'm doing that because we have to go back one because we just removed a data value. So we want to make sure we're not skipping over anything. And that looks good. Let's see what I broke. So combo dot combine sales. And then we need to pass in combo. And yeah. And notice shoes is now at 26. And if we go up here, shoes is 12. Shoes is 14, which equals 26. And there should be no dupes. Headphones are nine. Headphones are 26. Headphones are nine plus 26 is 35. Cool. Awesome. On word.